This video goes through the steps required to link your AWS account to TrackIt. In the AWS Management Console, you'll scroll down to Security, Identity, and Compliance and select IAM. On the left-hand panel, you'll select Users and click on Add User. Enter a username so that you'll remember that this user corresponds to TrackIt. For access type, select on the programmatic access button so that you'll ensure that an access key ID and a secret access key are generated. Select attach existing policies directly and search for read only access. Select the button next to read only access and click next. Review your user, ensure that the username and the AWS access type are correct, and click on Create User. If your user is successfully created, you'll receive this confirmation message with your access key ID and secret access key being displayed. You'll need to copy these onto your TrackIt account. AWS gives you a chance to download the CSV files corresponding to your access key ID and secret access key ID. You can go ahead and download those now and save them for later. Once you're done, you can click close and we'll be going back to the AWS home screen. On the home screen, you'll go down to storage and select S3. We'll be creating an S3 bucket to store all of your billing information. Select Create Bucket and enter a bucket name so that you'll remember that this S3 bucket corresponds to TrackIt. Once you have chosen a name, you can now click Next. AWS allows you to set properties to this S3 bucket, but we won't be using any of those additional properties. You can click Next. You can also set permissions to this bucket. Um, the one you want to focus on is on Manage Public Permissions. You want to make sure that you do not grant public read access to this bucket, and all other default permissions can be left as is. Now you can click Next. You can now review the bucket configurations and make sure that they are all correct. Once your bucket is created, you'll want to scroll down and click on the newly created bucket. We'll be adding permissions to this bucket to accept billing information. Select permissions and bucket policy. We need to generate a policy for this bucket so we'll be going into the Billing Management Console. Go down to My Billing Dashboard. Open in a new tab so you can switch easily between the two. And on the left panel, select Preferences. You want to click on Receive Billing Reports and enter the name of your newly created S3 bucket. Select Sample Policy and copy and paste this sample policy that's generated. Once you paste that policy, click Save. Go back into the Billing Management Console and verify that the bucket has the proper permissions. You'll get a green check next to the valid bucket. Now that you've successfully verified the bucket, you'll want to save the types of billing reports that you want to receive. You can click on all of these boxes and save preferences. Now that you have all the proper information, you'll want to enter that S3 bucket into TrackIt. And you can give it a friendly name so that you'll know which key this account belongs to. Once you submit your credentials and TrackIt verifies they are correct, a green key will appear next to your AWS account. 
You can now launch track it using those credentials. Please take note that it may take up to 24 hours for data to display on Trackit. This all depends on the amount of time it takes AWS to process your billing information and relay that to Trackit. And that's it! You've now linked your AWS account to Trackit.